Hello friends, Tony here. In this video, I want to work with the form to create a new employee. So if I go here right now, we have an empty page. So let's work with that. Let's open the VS Code. And the first one, let's open the employee controller. Okay, so on the create method, uh, let's open also the city controller. And I'm going to copy what we have on the create here on the city controller and paste it on the employee controller and make some changes. First, we need to import the splayed form, also the input from the form builder, the select from the form builder and the submit from the form builder. Now let's open also the employees database migration and here we have first name last name middle name then the department id then country state and city id and i had a comment why i have added also the country state and city because the country state and city has a relationship so if we get the city we also have, based on the city we get the state and so on but uh, i added that because in the documentation I have the structure for the employees table like this for that I have added also the country state and the city but on the form I'm going to add only the city ID and then we are going to get the city and based on the city get the state and the country ID okay and then the zip code birth date and date hired and what I'm going to do let's open first the model so the employee model and for the birth date and date hired I'm going to say here after the protected guarded also I'm going to add protected dollar sign casts to be able with an array of birth date which is going to be a date and also let's copy and paste for the date hired so date hired like this and save close this one now and let's start and with the form so first we need to say first name here also the label is going to be first name and I'm going to copy this and paste one first name this one is going to be last name and also here the label then the middle name okay and also here middle name then I'm going to add the zip code and say here zip code like this then as I said for the select I'm going to add the department and the seat so department ID choose a department and say here department model make sure you have imported uh, look the name and ID and we need to transform the array and let's copy this because also we need the city ID so let's say now city ID choose a city and use the city model here to get the name and the ID so we have added first last middle zip code and we need only the date birth date and date hired and we can use also a date from the form builder make and we need one for the birth date and also add the label which is going to be birth date like this and let's copy and paste for the date hire. 
and say your date fired like this. Okay. And we need to return the view to the admin uh, employees. Create. Good. And also the route is going to be admin employees store. Very good. The method is by default both, so we are okay. So first name, last name, middle name, zip code, department ID, city ID. Then birth, yes, birth date like this, and date hire. Okay, let's save. Also, let's open just to see if everything is okay inside the admin employees create blade I have add here create employee and we added the four good now let's see on the browser very first yeah here we have create employee first name last name middle name zip code choose a department and choose a city now let's work with the store method and here we have the default request, but I'm going to create the new request. So open terminal and say here artisan make request and I'm going to name it create employee request. Okay. Close this one and let's use now the create employee request here and let's open the create employee request return true here and then add the rules for first name which I'm going to add an array and say required also I'm going to say minimum of the three characters and then max of 100 and I'm going to copy this and paste for last name middle name and the zip code so say here last name is going to be same middle name is going to be same now for the zip code I'm going to say required minimum of uh, 5 and maximum of 10 ok then we are going to have the department ID which is going to be required and also I'm going to add this is going to be exists on the departments and ID department table and on the ID column and the same for the city so city id is going to be exist in the city's migration good the last one is add the dates so the birth date is going to be required and also is going to be date and copy and paste this for the date higher good now let's save this close okay now if I say here employee create and add the request validated like this we need also to add the country and the state ID so for that as I said based on the city ID I'm going to add them so I'm going to say dollar sign city to be equal with the city model and I'm going to use the find or fail find or fail the request city ID and for that, I'm going to say now here, employee create, and I'm going to use the array 
re merge and add the request validated here and also on array with the country ID which is going to be the city dollar sign city and the city has a relationship with the state and the state as the country ID also add the state ID which is going to be dollar sign city because the city has the state ID like this and then uh, let's open the city controller and I'm going to copy this split those notification and return to the route and after we store that we need to return with a split those notifications saying employee created and return to the route admin employees index and I think we are good now let's save so we get the city we add here employee create RI merge the request validated and then the country and the state the request validated are all the first name last name middle name zip code department and city ID birth date and date hired and then we added also the country and the state ID and I think we are okay let's open the browser and let's refresh we to use the big filler then choose a department and which is Laravel choose a city London and let's say here for birth date and with the choose 2001 and just pick a random one for the date hired I'm going to say then here and let's say save and yeah employee created and here is the employee and we display the first name the ID the first name the last name the country and the department now as I said if you don't want a country but you want the city ID let's open the employee employees uh, table and here we can change that on the country we can say city name and the label is going to be city like this and the filter we have for countries city department and the state so let's say this and as you can see now we have country if you push we have city and the city is London okay let's create new one so big filter here choose a department live wire uh, New York birth date where they chose a 2000 here and uh, let's choose then okay then let's select for the day save and yeah now apartment Laravel live wire city London and New York and let's search first I'm going to search for the first name so if I copy and paste it here yeah it's working now let's filter them by country we don't see the country here but for London it's going to belong to the United Kingdom and yeah if I choose the, the United States we have this one if I choose a Greece we don't have any more anyone for Greece but uh, let's reset and let's say I want to filter them based on the department so Laravel and it's going to list only the employees which have Laravel department which belong to the Laravel department okay friends that's it about this video I hope you enjoy and don't forget if you like a video please like the video and subscribe to my channel because it's going to help me to rank on YouTube all the best and see you in the next one thank you very much